Alrighty, Roo, today's video is brought to you by airguntactical.com. And today we're checking out the T9, the Bentac T9. This is a little teeny tactical 9mm. You can run it with one or two tanks. It's concealable, it's transportable, it's super powerful, and it's semi automatic. So we'll give you an up close look at this bad boy, show you how it works. As well, we'll go over all the specs on this bad boy. But first, Let's do some shooting. By the way, airguntactical.com doesn't just sell AEA PCP rifles such as the Megalodon. They also sell the Huben GK1 version 3. You can get yourself a Red Panda from Karma Air Guns, selling now, and all kinds of crazy stuff. And obviously there will be a link for the T9 that we're looking at today in the description of this video. Funny story actually, I filmed this whole forest shooting part and then my phone, which was already on its last leg, totally cracked on both sides. I stuck it on the seat of my go-kart, did a few laps around the property, full speed. The phone ended up falling through the seat, getting ran over by the go-kart. All the files were still on there, and it's not like I can just go back up to the forest and refilm it, because the M4, I'm picking it up the afternoon of this video, and I have to film it starting the next day. So, you guys almost got a target cam only video. It took me all night, but I was able to get the files off of that phone onto my new phone. Good thing, too, because this was probably the most fun I've ever had shooting an air gun, you guys. And I'm not exaggerating. Seriously, I love this gun. What I plan to do with it, I'm putting this bad boy in a traditional wood stock, okay? And we're going to have like a raw mini 9mm, except this one hits the target, unlike the real raw mini. Sorry to say. So I think I just found my dream gun. Once I get a buttstock on this thing, to my liking, it's gonna be my new go-to. I'm holding it like two feet away, so I, there's no way to get a scope cam to capture that. This is how far away I was. I was just explaining there about how this is a two power pistol scope. So instead of holding your eye three or four inches away, you hold the gun out at arm's length and you get a perfect sight picture, just like this. This is your basic Marauder style magazine. You're gonna spin the clear cover to the right and that's gonna take the spring-loaded wheel inside with it. Then once it's fully wound, flip the magazine over. Then you're gonna put a pellet in backwards. That's gonna hold your wheel in place and you'll be able to go through and fill in all the other spots till you got a full magazine. Then that little notch on the back, that's gonna fit right over the end of the barrel. You're gonna pull the bolt back most of the way. It's very easy. But then the last teeny bit, it's a little harder to pull, but pull it that last little way just when you're loading the magazine and that'll allow you to slide it right in. Then you just put the bolt all the way forward and you're ready to shoot. I decided to try the AEA pellets as well. And although AEA makes two different weight 357s, I'm using the 80.8 because those are the closest in weight to the JSB. All right, you guys, I'm set up here in a very special. 20 yards away, about twice as far as I was trying to do, but here we go. And then we're gonna shoot this little bad guy target because we all know that this gun was designed for self-defense. Although it's so accurate, if you add a stock to it, you would basically have the shortest pack driving 357 in the world. Definitely out to 40 yards, probably farther. right here see where we hit oh, we are pretty much on the paper wow kind of feels like a real pistol That was crazy. I didn't even sight in at all. It just got a few in the bullseye. I just threw this scope on here. It's been in a drawer for like three years. Well, I'm definitely going to be able to hit those targets down there. I don't think my chronograph worked, but... Boy, that was really cool to shoot, too. I've never shot anything like that. Felt like a real pistol, but then, like, real pistols don't weigh six and a half pounds. So, it was really cool. Wow! Look, you guys, I just put that scope on there seriously like about ten minutes ago. 
Wow, that is so cool. And actually, these were some of the first shots. So I guess I'll just sight down a teeny bit and we'll nail these guys. I don't stand a chance. Those were the JSB pellets. But as soon as I clipped my crosshairs down a little bit and loaded up the 80.8 grain AEA center punch, that's when we started stacking pellets on the bullseye. And safety works. I think that might be it. Yep, I successfully counted my shots. Guys, that thing is so freaking fun to shoot. I had, I mean, I never would have expected anything like this. So we'll get to the steel smacking with extreme prejudice and shooting through concrete blocks momentarily. But first, real quick, let me give you an up close look at the Bintac T9. They have all kinds of stuff from compressors, bipods, red dot sights, lasers, carbon fiber air tanks, gun bags and cases suppressors moderators and adapters those are always fun and they even sell the press slug swagging kit so go over there and check them out there will be a link in the description as i said looks like they also sell avanix and western air guns rattlers all right the bintac t9 tactical semi-automatic 357 comes in nine millimeter only nine millimeter and 357 the same says the recommended ammo is jsb pellets so they only come in one weight, that's 81 grain. Or it says 77.17 grain Hades. Oh man, I didn't even know they had 357 Hades. I gotta get me some of those. As we said, it's semi-automatic. It's got a barrel length of eight inches with an overall length of just 16 inches. It comes with two magazines, they hold eight rounds each. It's just your basic Marauder style magazine. It says here you're gonna get 24 or more shots per fill with the T9. The barrel is threaded with M18 by one threads, so you can add your own suppressor or moderator. It's got a fill pressure of a full 310 bar, or 4500 PSI. So the front tank is actually hot swappable, which means you can fill it up and then remove it from the gun. So you can shoot this with one tank, which will give you 125 cc's of air, or if you have both tanks on there, you have 250 cc's combined air capacity. As well, you guys, this vertical bottom tank, which is an awesome handle. If you didn't want to take it off, you can remove it and cap it off. So with 82 grain pellets, you're going to be shooting 740 feet per second. And that's over 100 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. The T9 comes with a really nice two-piece Picatinny optics rail, but it actually slides off, and underneath, you got a dove's tail mount as well. It does weigh 6.5 pounds. I'm guessing that's with the two tanks on there. So that's almost as much as your average rifle. A standard AR weighs 7.5 pounds. Oh, and here is one of the coolest things. It comes with a TSA approved tactical black hard case. Oh, and it looks like even at Airgun Tactical, they have a rear stock and adapter kit. So it says click here for that. So it looks like there's basically two adapter options. You can have a fixed adapter or a folding adapter. And then there's two stock options. You can have a factory stock or there's a CNC machined black and gray version. That looks closer to what would be on like a Challenger Pro. Very nice. All right, now let's get back to the shooting. Just real quick though, this has a real smooth, easy cocking action. You just pull it back about three quarters away, you'll hear a click, and you're ready to rock and roll. Sorry, cha-cha. My dog's not into that sound. Here's that trigger. First stage, and then, 
All right, I gotta go put a silencer on this. I had to go ahead and drive to the forest to shoot my T9. Without an Emperor, it's definitely not backyard friendly. My Emperor says M18 by one threads, but it definitely doesn't fit. The hole's too big, so I'm not really sure what was going on there. I do know though that Downy FL will hook you up with an adapter if you need one. And meow, let's get back to the shooting. These guys are screwed. All right, let's pop these first though. The first time I did this. Oh my gosh, took that guy right there. The target cam was not recording, but I had no problem hitting all those targets in the head. Wow, that is crazy. We'll hit the rat anyway. Darn it. I knew I was going to be one short. Oh man, that just, that hammers the target so hard. All right, let's do that zipper. Wow. This thing is freaking crazy. <laughs> that was like so easy. Let's pop them back in. All right, you guys, I'm going to try to kind of rapid fire these. So freaking fun. Oh, I'm loving it. There we are. Target acquired. Actually, I do think I missed one that time, so I should be able to get all these targets on one magazine. Boy, that is freaking so fun, you guys. And here's the moment you've all been waiting for. The good old big bore cinder block test. Hitting the same exact spot. Look at that. Gotta hit a little lower. All right, this mag's gonna go into that. I'm not shooting for group, you guys. I'm just trying to get the very center of that cavity. There it is. Wow. Let's see if I can break it off. There it is. Let's see if I can shoot the top off. Ooh, no, it bounced. Oh. Let's do our third magazine, guys. So we're through the other side. I can see it through my scope. This thing's about to fall off. That was it, you guys. Wow, that's super fun. Don't forget to go check out airguntactical.com, even if you don't need a T9 right at this second. They got a lot of cool stuff to see. Alright, we definitely got them. Punch through both sides. Yeah, that's what the back looks like. Took a few shots though. Oh, here's a survivor. This guy's been through a wall. Still got some concrete stuck on him. How cool is that? Nothing I haven't seen before, though. All right, everybody. Till next week. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.